Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at how to multiply any given number with 99 and triple 9. Okay. So what we need to do here is, let's say the number is AB and we have to multiply it with 99. The answer consists of two part. The rightmost, rightmost part is a two digit number, which is complement of the number with 100. So complement of a number with 100 is simply 100 minus the number. Okay. So this is the rightmost two digits of the answer. And the left part of the answer is number minus 1, the number minus 1, okay. So for example, if you have to multiply 26 with 99, so the right part of the answer is 26 minus, sorry, 100 minus 26, which is 74. And the left part of the answer is 26 minus 1, which is 25. Very, very easy, isn't it? Let's take few more examples to understand, uh, understand this. If you have to multiply 12 with 99, so the right part of the answer will be 100 minus 12, which is uh, 88. And the left part of the answer is 12 minus 1, which is 11. So your final answer is 1188. Okay. The next is 123 into 99. Now here comes a catch. So far, 12 is fine. So 100 minus 123, if you do it, negative will negative, isn't it? So what you need to do is you will have to break this number into two parts. The right part is a two digit number and the remaining number. Okay. So you calculate the complement of 23 with 100. Okay. So 100 minus 23 is 77 and the left part of the answer will be the whole number minus one minus this remaining part. So 123 minus one minus one is 121. So your final answer is 12177. Okay. Uh, let's understand this even better. 321 into 99. So again, you divide this number into two parts. The right part is a two digit number 21. So complement of 21 is uh, 79. Okay. So complement of 21 is 79. And the left part of the answer will be 321 minus 1. What the standard hai? minus this remaining part which is 3 321 minus 1 minus 321 minus 4 is 317 so your final answer will be 31779 okay and finally we have 1234 into 99 so complement of 34 which is 66 and then you have 1234 minus 1 minus the remaining part which is 12 so 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 13 effectively, this becomes 1, 2, 2, 1. So your final answer is 1, 2, 2, 1, 6, 6. Okay. So this is how we have to calculate a, a number when multiplied with 99. Complement of the last two digits basically and the left part of the answer will be the number minus 1 minus the remaining part of the number. So when we have only a two digit number, there is no remaining part. But if you have a three digit or a four digit number, the remaining part can be here it is three, here it is 12. Okay. Now let's look at how to multiply a given number with triple nine. So as long as it's a three digit number, there's no problem. Uh, when it's a four digit or five digit number that uh, examples will also discuss. So what we have to do is the process is quite similar as we did in the case of 99. Here you have to calculate complement of thousand complement of the number with 1000. So 1000 minus ABC and it has to be written as a three digit number here. Okay. Now one thing uh, which I need want to discuss over here is what if you multiply 97 with 99. So complement of 97 is three, but it has to be written as a two digit number. So this will be 03 and the left part of the answer will be 97 minus one, which is 96. So remember it has to be written as a two digit number here. Okay. So 9603. Same is the case in terms of triple nine. It has to be written as a three digit number. Okay. And the left part of the answer will be this number minus one as was the case when we discussed 99. Okay. So 261 into triple nine. So 1000 minus 261. The right part of the answer will be 1000 minus 261, which is 739. And the left part of the answer is 261 minus one, which is 260. Very simple. What if we were to multiply 995 with 999? So here the complement is 1000 minus 995, which is 5, but it needs to be written as a three digit number. So 005 and the left part of the answer is 995 minus 1, which is 994. 
So 995 into 999 is 994005. Very simple. Fine. Let's look at a few more examples. Sorry. 123 into 999. Okay. So complement of 123 with 1000 is uh, 877. 877. Okay. And the left part of the answer will be 123 minus 1, which is 122. Fine. Next is 1234999. Now this is a four digit number. So when this is a four digit number, you calculate complement of the last three digits. So 1000 minus 234 is, uh, this will be 766, 766. And the left part of the answer will be 1234 minus 1 as standard minus the remaining part. So this becomes 1221. So 1, 2, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 13. So 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay, so here the remaining part is not 2, the uh, 12, the remaining part is 1. 234, the remaining part is 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 2, this will be. So 1, 2, 3, 2, it will become. Okay, let's take one more example to understand even better. So here, let's calculate complement of 321, which is 679. 1000 minus 321 is 679. And the left part of the answer will be 4321 minus 1 minus the remaining part, which is 4. So 4321 minus 5, which is 4316. And finally, we have 1234 into 999. So complement of 345, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Complement of 345 is uh, 655 here and the left part of the answer will be uh, this will be sorry 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 minus 12 this will be so this is 1 2 3 3 1 sorry uh, this will be 1 2 3 3 2 this will be this is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. Okay. So the left part of the answer is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. And the right part of the answer is 650, uh, 655. So this is how you can calculate a uh, multiplication of a number with triple 999. So that's it for this video. Thank you.